Finding an alternative to Squarespace depends on what exactly you're looking for. Maybe you need more sophisticated e-commerce. Maybe you want something that's easier to use. Maybe you want something that gives you more design control. I think Squarespace is an excellent website builder, but I also know it can't be everything to everybody. So in this video, I'll share six alternatives. You can find links to each alternative in the video description below. My work is supported by affiliate commissions, so I may earn a commission on some of the links. Okay, let's start with Shopify. Squarespace has good e-commerce, but if you need something more heavyweight, uh, you'll want to use Shopify. Unlike Squarespace, Shopify isn't for general websites. Instead, they've narrowly focused on e-commerce. Because of that, Shopify is able to provide better e-commerce support. The best example of this is Shopify's App Store. Shopify could have built one complex bloated core that tried to meet every e-commerce store's needs. But over time, that would grow to become a hairball mess of features. So instead, they built an app store with apps that add sophisticated, more specific features that not every e-commerce website will need. This allows them to maintain a simple, easy to use core that you can extend by installing apps from the app store. There's apps for customer support, fulfillment, SEO, retention, shipping, conversion optimization, and more. Plus, in my surveys of website builder users, I found Shopify has a really high customer satisfaction rating. Weebly is a great alternative if you're looking for something easy to use. I'd describe Squarespace as intuitive rather than easy to use. In fact, Squarespace is the only website builder that doesn't mention ease of use on their homepage. So I'd suggest Weebly if you find Squarespace difficult to use. Weebly's interface is clear and simple. Everything feels obvious and within arm's reach. It's what I recommend to people who don't feel totally tech savvy. Another alternative is Wix. One of the most obvious differences between Wix and Squarespace is the editors. Squarespace is a structured editor, which means you can only drag and drop elements within a pre-designed grid. Wix, on the other hand, is a blank canvas editor, which means you can drag any element anywhere on the page. It's a lot more freeing, though it can also present challenges. Next, let's look at Webflow. Webflow allows for more control over design details than Squarespace. It's even flexible enough to design your own theme from scratch. Of course, with more sophistication also comes more complexity. Uh, I would compare Webflow's interface to Photoshop. It's not quite coding, um, but the interface can feel code-like. So expect a bit of a learning curve. If you're a photographer, you might want to look at format. Format is only for photography websites, uh, and so its features are focused on photographers. So there's an integration with Lightroom, there's proofing features, and themes are designed to showcase photography. Format is not the only website builder purely focused on photographers, but it is the best. I surveyed 1,630 photographers with websites and found that those who used Format had the highest customer satisfaction, an excellent 97%. Finally, you might want to consider WordPress. If you build your website on Squarespace, or any website builder for that matter, you will need to use their hosting for the lifespan of the website. You can't just export your website and put it on a new host. If this bothers you, I'd suggest looking at WordPress as an alternative. WordPress isn't a website builder. It's an open source content management system, uh, or CMS. CMSs have steeper learning curves than website builders like Squarespace, but are much, much more flexible. You can change hosts and you can customize your website with a huge selection of WordPress, WordPress plugins and themes. In the end, there's no universally right or wrong tool for building a website. Instead, remember that the tool should match the need. Let what you're building guide your decision. You can find links to each alternative in the video description below. Thanks for watching and best of luck building your website.